that's what I'm working on before I call you guys called and what I'll work on after we get done. Simply amazing. And and that's what's frustrating when you'll speak out on a subject and everybody calls you and contacts you and you get overwhelmed and then you can't help people uh, as much as you'd like to. And then there's this guilty feeling. Instead of feeling good about trying to do the right thing sometimes, I end up feeling bad because uh, it's like I haven't been able to fix it. Do you ever have that feeling? Continuously for over 40 years. I mean, you know, I remember during the Vietnam War, I bought all this off, you know, and Christmas, I mean, Christmas Eve of, 1970, you know, we were supposed to have all the bombing halls. Well, I'm on a B-52 dropping bombs all over, killing people all over the place on Christmas Eve. I mean, we flew into our bombing point singing Silent Night, put the bombing tape back on, recorded the mission, put Silent Night back on, continued singing Silent Night after we had just killed hundreds, thousands and thousands of Vietnamese on the ground on Christmas, Christmas morning of 1970. And it's not changed, of course, as you know, in the history books, we didn't bomb on Christmas. We didn't bomb at that time at all. Well, hey, we were there and doing it. Unbelievable. And it just gets crazier and crazier. And you look at all civilizations, that they always go this way. People become decadent, then they become crazy, then they become completely out of their minds. And it's like the days of Noah with just crazy people running around in all directions. And it's just going to get worse and worse. And I... I'm not trying to be negative. I just absolutely wish there was some way to reverse this. We need everybody speaking up, demanding that everybody, all of us who served in the military, get prompt and optimal medical care without any more discussion or debate, without the guy having to prove that he was there or having to prove that he got the injury. They got the medical problem. Everybody knows it was there, but now they're demanding these kids somehow prove it themselves. And the kids can't because yeah, that's the new the thing. I saw that in the news where they go, give us your medical records of, of, of where, and you're like, I don't, I don't have records of when I got shot. I was in the back of a Humvee in Afghanistan. What do you mean I, give me proof I got shot in Afghanistan? You're supposed to have that. Well, one day there was a fire. I mean, we know from Desert Storm, we loaded the medical records at 3rd Medical Command at Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, into the steel conics of shipment back to the state. When Dr. Colonel Andres Carnegie Bob, Colonel Thomas Little, Colonel Dr. Thomas Little, Colonel Ulrich Bauer got there, the connexes were empty. Yeah, and I don't know how they get the other military personnel or contractors to throw away people's medical records. See, everybody's going along with this, or a lot of people are, and folks ought to get, when you screw somebody else, that allows you to get screwed later. Uh, and it's not even some you, you thing in the universe, though that operates as well as you know, doctor. It's that it's that when you actually, the example is if there's a nice community pool you like, I don't mean to be gross here, and you go and, and not just pee in it, but take a dump in it, and everybody else starts doing it, is that going to be a nice pool to be in? No. And, and I just don't understand how the establishment is absolutely soiling everything. The, the, they're just disgusting people, doctor. Well, I think so. I've been trying to, and all, all the guys I know on our team have been trying to clean it up for a long time. We're going to continue to try to clean it up, despite, you know, overt retaliations and beatings. I mean, literally, physical and psychological attacks is an ongoing thing. You've seen the evidence of it. You've seen the photographs. So it's not a, it's not a question that it doesn't happen. It's just, why do they keep getting away with it? Well, the people that allow them to do it are the people in charge, so there's no accountability. That's right. All right, Dr. Doug Rocky, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir, and thank you for helping everything. We'll send you some more. We got the post-deployment physical assessment form. I'll send that to you. We need to make sure that's put up so everybody in the military, from no matter going back to World War II and beyond, can use that to get medical care. Yeah, we should. Well, you spend a few minutes explaining what that form is. We'll do an article about it. Yeah, I sure will. All right, we'll talk to you again soon, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. He's a really good guy. Amazing story. Uh, and there's so many people like that out there, and they tell them they're heroes, and Tell them they're great, and the media tells you you're great while they're using you. And as soon as they're done, they just throw you out like trash. And everybody serving the system better understand that and better think about that long and hard so they understand what we're facing. You know, it, documents came out. Doug Rocky sent them to us years ago. He got them from a general. They were leaked. It became national news when it happened that they knew that Agent Orange was going to cause birth defects and kill the people that used it. 
and that they'd actually in Vietnam added uh, a synthetic neurotoxin to it to get around the Geneva Convention barring nerve gas being used. And that they'd actually added a special thing to Agent Orange over there that had a neurotoxin. It was really a chemical anti-personnel weapon. And that that's what people were breathing. And it, and, it, and it was not just killing the Vietnamese, the Viet Cong, which is bad enough. Our own soldiers were breathing that and had lesions all over their organs, their hearts, you name it. And my uncle, the doctor, you know, said, looking at scans of his heart and stuff before he died, said, oh, we see this a lot with helicopter pilots from Vietnam, that an old heart lesion, basically a mini heart attack from Vietnam. And think about it, Monsanto, who owned that, made billions, it was billions of dollars back then spraying it. Uh, and it was just a death sentence for everyone. I mean, just absolute death sentence. And undoubtedly contributed to my uncle's early demise and other problems in his family. And it's just an illustration, an illustration uh, of, of how this stuff affects everybody. I mean, these companies are evil, evil. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. From the Turkey guy, now comes Survival K Food Storage. All natural canned meats with no MSG, fillers, or chemicals, and with up to a 15 year shelf life. On sale this week, 12 14.5 ounce cans of ground beef was 123, now just 113. Or 12 28 ounce cans was 164, now only 154. Free shipping within the U.S. Go to goberkey.com or call 877 886 3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, goberkey.com. The number one secret to having great health and long life is having high levels of glutathione. This master antioxidant is required by your body to stop free radicals, keep cells young, remove chemical and heavy metal toxins, support immunity, support liver functions, stop inflammation, and much more. The results of optimal levels of glutathione in your body are more mental and physical energy, stronger immune system, greater endurance, and more. Do you know the number one secret superfood that helps increase your glutathione levels up to 64% or more? It's unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows. This health food is amazing in its ability to do so much for virtually everyone. Introducing One World Whey, an industry first, unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988. 988-3325 or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Folks, this entire last hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex to find all their big specials. Non-GMO, great Patriots, best storable food out there. That's what I and my family use. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex or 866-229-0927. And they have great customer service as well. Uh, let's... Um, briefly also tell listeners you can support the broadcast this way plus get the word out i came up with a design idea but one of our great graphics folks put it together cade i think this is the best 
t-shirt we've ever put out and the listeners think that too it's the best selling just a week into it it is the molon lambe with the spartan helmet the crossed m4s behind it the victory laurels around it we have an infowars version uh with molon lambe on the back infowars on the front uh in greek uh, and the and the number 1776 under it. And then we have the other one that's really the best seller that just says Molon Labe in the Greek on the front with the Spartan helmet. So that's all available at InfoWarsStore.com in the Made in America section, MadeIn1776.com. And it's a great way to meet like-minded people and promote uh, defiance to tyranny and promote the culture of liberty. It's a culture war. As the globalists have said, Zach in Morocco, thanks for holding. I didn't look up and see that you were calling from Morocco, so I apologize I had you hold so long. Oh, no problem. No problem, Alex. It's uh, been a very powerful uh, broadcast so far. I just, uh, I see all this stuff going on in uh, Ukraine, and I can't help but uh, draw the parallel to Libya back in 2011, what occurred uh, with the complete overthrow of that government. I mean, you know, the big story in the news was Benghazi. But truly, the big story, I think, is the actual overthrow of that government. There's no raid on the compound if you don't destabilize the country and murder the leader of a sovereign country. And, and, and call the al-Qaeda forces that you've given heavy weapons peace, peaceful demonstrators. Uh, and again, it's not that Gaddafi was wonderful, but compared to he'd been peaceful for decades and been working with the West for eight years, they totally set him up. And it was a criminal action. And now, three, four years later... Uh, what do we hear about what's happened in, in Libya? Well, they admit it's a totally hellhole level place, and they admit it was terrible what happened. Absolutely. And at the time, uh, like you said, Muammar, Gadda Muammar Gaddafi was not a saint by any means, but he, you know, he was building up the country and you know, uh, dealing peacefully with the uh, sub-Saharan Africans, the black population. The black population in Libya today is absolutely being treated like trash. You know, where are the black leaders? Where are all these people coming out against the Obama administration? When you see, you know, he was in charge of this operation in Libya that completely destabilized the country. You know, where are the leaders at? No, I mean, that's what they're doing. And it doesn't mean there aren't beefs on both sides in any of these conflicts. It just means the globalists, the same ones doing this all over the planet, are the ones behind it. And and uh, now uh, Benghazi's been fully taken over by al-Qaeda there. They, a bunch of towns fly al-Qaeda flags over their cities. It is a nightmare scenario. Great points uh, from Morocco out there in the Mediterranean. Let's talk to Tom in New York. Thanks for holding. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Alex? I'm doing all right, brother. Um, Ah, uh, good, good. Hey, I got two things I'd like to, uh, if I have time here. Um, I'd like to get your view on, uh, I don't know if you saw in the news, Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York, wants to give prisoners a free college education. Well, of course. I mean, he's a criminal who wants to violate the Second Amendment and the First Amendment and says good pro-life people should leave the state. Cuomo is a thug pig. I, he should be impeached. He's the worst governor. I can't believe that. Nobody's up in arms about uh, him wanting to take our guns, number one, and number two, giving college educations to criminals. Well, I mean, look, he and is, he is, he is a criminal for working with mayors uh, from Bloomberg's group in a conspiracy to register guns to confiscate them. It is criminal to try to disarm us and overthrow our Bill of Rights. It is criminal to, to tell people that don't agree with him politically to get out of his state. He is a disgusting, gangster, thug piece of trash. God bless you, sir. Anything else? Thank you. No, um, I had another point, but I'll call back another No, time. I'm going into overdrive. So come back, make your final point, Tom. Five minutes overdrive. Then Jill, Lee, and Fred. I'm going to go to all of you. All of you. Infowars.com forward slash show for the free feed. You are listening Nightly News to tonight, GCN. 7. God bless you all, folks. Visit GCNlive.com today. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking the
their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast. 